Uh, welcome to Math 1324, Business and Social Science Mathematics. My name is Alma Wislinski, and I'm your instructor of record for this course. Um, this is e Business Eco 1, followed by Business Eco 2, which co covers the calculus aspect. I prepare you for that course. All right. So what is this? This is our orientation to the course. And I plan on giving you um, information on the introduction to the course, the course structure, of what you need for the course, and come how to communicate with me. So let's begin with introduction to the course. I made it into three components. The algebra topics we'll cover, that's to help you with the calculus, is linear equations, quadratic equations, functions and graphs, and inequalities. The mathematics for science, which covers part of what the business aspect and how you plan your future, knowing what it's going to cost you or how much you're going to make, is simple and compound interest and annuities. Annuities are investments in a retirement plans or insurance policies to uh, help you prepare for the time that you no longer work. The special topics are linear programming, matrices, system of linear equations, applications to management, economics, and business. And those, again, are preps for Cal. So we're going to talk first about the structure. In this uh, center part of our video, it says Summer 2, 23, Math 13, 24, Section 87. This is what you'll click on to get to my program on Brightspace, and hopefully you know how to do that. This is an IA class, all-inclusive. IA. It is all-inclusive. It's on Brightspace completely. All you have to do is click on it and accept, and you're ready to roll. There are four components to our grading process. The first one is discussion board. This is easy 10 points. It is a week. Just follow the prompts and uh, follow what you need to do to comply, and it is easy and you get to to see others and see how they think and uh, how they write. Uh, remember you're going into some form of uh, business or into working with public. So uh, communication is very important. So it's that aspect of discussion board. The homework is worth 20% of the course grade and uh, that encourages you to make the 100. It is always possible. Uh, we'll talk about how you can get additional help to make sure you make those hundreds and understand the material. Exams are worth 50%. That's half, half of the course. So you want to do well on these exams, which means you should keep all of your homeworks together so you can leaf through them and prepare for the exam. And the final is worth 20%. Uh, and it and I do have something there for you to review, so you'll have no difficulty. Okay, that's part of the, the course structure. The other thing I want to talk about is methods of instruction. I'll be using videos, uh, and they will be found on Brightspace. Uh, and uh, this is the home page. Always read announcements. They are keys to the week and keys to what is important to do and what you are required to do to be on task. Now on the right side of that page is the information for, of how to contact me. We'll go through that a little bit more as we go through this orientation. The timeline is our calendar. The calendar is critical. You'll need to print it out so that you're all made aware of what your responsibilities are. Tutoring is uh, absolutely important for you and for me and the success in the course. 
I want you to succeed. Nobody wants you not to succeed. We have tutoring online, face-to-face, -face, in the LTC building. And then, of course, there is direct attention by me and through Zoom and other vehicles. So let's talk about what you'll be needing for the course. You will be needing a TI 83 or 84. They run approximately, and I've written this out uh, to remind me, and I forgot to erase it, so I'm so sorry. Uh, they are from 110 to 160. So that's what that was. So I'm uh, telling you that if you have a smartphone, go to your apps key and it's about, it's under $6 to uh, get an emulator, a TI-84 uh, emulator and get the 84 on your smartphone. Be careful if you have an Apple smartphone. Uh, it's very picky, so try them out before you pay for them. Uh, and that way you'll know Apple is a very picky uh, phone system. Uh, you need a writing instrument. It can be a pencil pen. This is for you. And always write in either a spiral or a journal to keep everything in order so you can flip back and see what you've learned. A computer is the most important thing for this course. And you must have internet service for at least two months. If you don't, though, don't panic. You and your computer can drive to MCC because we have broadband internet connection from any parking lot on the campus. Or you can go and sit outside or inside our many labs that we have and do your work. So uh, there is no excuse to, well, I had to eat and didn't pay my internet. Uh, we have it for you. You just have to make time to go and take care of that. And that is the next most critical, which is time. Uh, if you do not have time for this course, it will get frustrating. Some of the sections will take 20 minutes and some will take an hour and 20 minutes. So, and not because they're hard, but because they're multiple parts to each of the problems. So please, please, please make time for this class. All right. So here is my other big connection with you. And that is how to communicate. On the home page is my picture and underneath are the various ways of communicating. I do Zoom office hours. I do uh, special Zoom for anyone that sends me an email and gives me advance notice, not for that particular moment. Uh, and uh, I also have face-to-face. -face. Again, you can arrange it by emailing me first and asking for a date and time and I'll be on campus for you to assist you. Uh, now there's also a way to connect with me if you have a problem. This is off of your problem set. Suppose you don't know uh, how to work it. Well, if this is available, it's a help me solve this. It will prompt you on what to think in the order needed. The view and example is a completed form of the problem that you can view. Some of you can probably learn here. Uh, but this one is the one I want to get to. Get more help. It is access to the textbook, textbook book, but it also has ask my professor. And this will shoot me, shoot me um, the particular problem write to me and I'll respond with a PDF on how I would approach it. Uh, well, now we want to take a tour of their website. So let me get that up. So right here is our my website. And uh, again, it is uh, Summer 2, 23, Math 1324, Section 87. And on the far right is all of my information. And you can see that on the bottom, I have uh, Zoom access automatic. I couldn't find it on the new setup of how we did it. It used to be on a ribbon and I couldn't find it for student access. So I've given you a Zoom access to get to uh, the Zoom uh, meeting place uh, if you need it. 
And here are all of my times. And you can schedule extra time. You just have to let me know via email and not on that particular day. Now, remember what I said, you have to read uh, every uh, announcement for the week. It's only one, you can read it, all right. So um, here we have the, the homepage, which is what you're looking at, home content, discussion board, and assessments. All right, so we're gonna go to content. Uh, this is where you work. You are working here. Uh, and I have it on student mode. So you, this is what you'll see. All right, so right here is my syllabus and my calendar. Now remember, if you're gonna print the calendar, make sure you download it first. It's not good to print off of the, um, the Brightspace website, but um, you can see it has everything. And on the bottom, it even has a breakdown of, the, of what the values are and how to contact me. Uh, this is vital to print. I would spend the money for that. And okay, now, oh, sorry. Let's go with back to here, sorry. And uh, what we need to do next is visit uh, my math lab. Here are everything you need. Here's your e-textbook for the Pearson account, your grade book, and all assignments. And I always tell my students to go to all assignments. They're in order. And I know you can't see all of them, but I'm going to click one. And the problems are, problem sets are about 10, sometimes 12, all right, because they, some of them take a little bit of time and some take a lot of time. Uh, so if we clicked on one, let me see. And hopefully you'll see most of it. There it is. And you will have an answer that you will fill in in this action. Uh, and you can't see the bottom of it, but again, you see what I had on the, uh, on the course. Uh, so that takes care of that. All right. Now back to our content. Give it a minute. All right, we're gonna to go to content and we're gonna look what else is available for you. Uh, my video lessons are listed there and they'll be totally complete by the time you start uh, soon. And um, so each of the videos are there, some are several parts. I try to make them about 20 minutes at the max and I couldn't short them any shorter than that. Also too, is a review for the final exam. Uh, this is a PDF overview of what I considered was the most important to take away from this course. And studying this will give you a handle on expectations of the final. It is not this long, uh, but I pick and choose. All right, so you have that. And um, I think that covers everything on my website. So. Let me get back uh, to my PowerPoint. Uh, now we get to um, the summary. Our summary says you've got to spend your time wisely. Um, this is a college level class. You want to make the best grade you can. GPA, GPA, GPA. So think about that and then think about going out two times a week you know i want you to go out but not often to where it interferes with this course and all the other things uh, follow the calendar it lists all of the work you need to do for each week it's almost well it is one objective a day so that would mean about two and a half hours a, a night if you're working during the day of just doing one section. 
and it could go as high as three and a half hours, depending on if you took a shortcut and not watched the video. Okay, just heads up. Um, prepare, prepare, prepare. Makes homework a breeze. Keep all notes and homework problems. Uh, organization is something that'll either make you fantastic at your upcoming uh, employment of your career, or it can devastate you. Uh, so this is a, a another little trait that you need to acquire. And I'm going to give you a, a saying about I you don't need to take notes, business. Well, uh, good luck on that. And then communicate, communicate, communicate. Uh, when the problems arise, communicate. Uh, when you're struggling and getting behind, communicate. Uh, when issues on bright, st bright space occur, communicate. I cannot help if I do not know. All right. I do check you all, and that's one time a week. Uh, and maybe if I have time during the week. So be aware. I also take uh, attendance, so be forewarned. Take exams after homework is done. Uh, it is vital that the information, because this is a fast class, it's all given to you quickly that if you do the, the exam and take all the notes from that exam that you write your problems on, you will be successful in this course. My parting words to you is my, my favorite picture of Einstein um, and the quote, the measure of intelligence is the ability to change. Think about that. You have to change your whole attitude or it's not going to work. You have to change how you perceive free time because it'll affect your grade. You have to change what is of value for the sacrifice you do right now for your career goal of a university degree. I want you to succeed and I thank you for taking my class. I expect to hear from all of you every once in a while and get started now.